Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk about front matter in Hexo. Front matter is basically information that you can define about your different content files. It's essentially just metadata. So metadata is data about data, and that's what front matter is. Front matter is information that we can assign to each one of our content pages and then our Hexo theme can use that information to display that content in different ways. When you create a file in Hexo, and down here in my source folder in posts, I just have this a.markdown file. When you make a content file, there's some default information that gets put inside that file, and it's this stuff up here. You might be wondering, what is this stuff? Well, this is called the front matter of the page. Front matter is formatted in one of two languages. So it's written in one of two languages, either YAML or JSON. And YAML and JSON are both languages which are used to define key value pairs. So up here, this is YAML. And you can see here we have a key and then we have a value. We have a key and we have a value. So we're defining up here the title of our website, which is A. We're defining the date that it was created and then some tags for this page. Front Matter allows you to give your content different pieces of information like a title or a date or tags. Over here in my website, you'll notice that this A page is being displayed on the home page. And actually our Hexo theme that we're using is using the Front Matter from this page in order to display this A.markdown file. Over here is A, and this is actually the title of the page, and then up here is 2017.09.13. That's the date of this page. So if I come over here in my front matter, I can change this. Instead of just putting A, we'll say A's title. And instead of having this be the 13th, let's make this the 14th. When I go over to my file, notice that both of these attributes change. So the date changed and then also the title of the page changed. So this Hexo theme is using the information that's inside of this front matter in order to display the content page correctly. We can also add in some tags. So I want to add in just a couple of different tags for my content. So we could just say like tag one, tag two, and tag three. Now again, Hexo is gonna, the Hexo theme is gonna use that information. So over here on the navigational card, we have tag one, tag two, and tag three. Basically Front Matter just lets you define stuff like this for each of your files. So if I was to make a new file, we could say Hexo new, we'll just call it B. The front matter that's inside of B and the front matter that's inside A are gonna be different, but the Hexo theme is gonna use both of them to display those cards. So now when I refresh this page, B is gonna show up. And so A and B are actually displaying in the same style and in the same format, but because A has different front matter, it's displaying differently than B. Later on in this course, we're gonna talk about uh, getting more advanced with front matter. Um, we're gonna learn about creating your own custom front matter and then accessing that custom front matter inside of Hexo templates. But for now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I just wanted to give you a broad high level overview of what front matter is, why it shows up on our pages and how we can use it to affect the way that our files show up in our Hexo theme. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.